Chris and Bryce, so great to meet you too. Likewise. You, you have been in your own filmmaking bubble for so long, making Jurassic World. What's it like to actually get out of it, travel the world, and hand this film over to your fans? It's exciting, and it's also like it gives me like anxiety yeah. a little bit. Like, a little I mean, bit. it's it's you know what it is. We're so deeply invested in this in this franchise and in the legacy of Jurassic Park because of the impact that, that that movie had on both of us as kids. And so, you know, we just like so badly want everyone to to love this ride, you know, love this adventure. So, and we're excited yeah. and 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 we're and we're desperate as well, you know. <laughs> <laughs> well, but it is it, it is no matter what it is a bit of relief knowing that like, hey, at this point we worked our butts off yeah. for a long time and that part is over. Now what we get to do is go, just go share it with people, and I think that's like a really gratifying, a really gratifying thing because we're seeing that people are really enjoying it, and uh, you know that's why we do it. We do it because the fans love it, and we get to do what we do because of the fans. So, so we're grateful. There's a scene in the film where Claire is on top of a dinosaur. Yes. And Owen turns around and says, "Good job. You're making this look totally normal. Being on set, <laughs> getting to do what you guys do, that's your normal. But no. do you ever sit back and go?" What are we actually doing? All the time. <laughs> Constantly. Right. It's ridiculous. Like, there are so many ridiculous little things that we end up doing for yeah. our job. Yeah. It, Absurd. It, 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 for me, it re that those moments really happen when I'm with people that I grew up with. Like, uh, if I'm talking to my brother or my sister or any of my friends that I grew up with. It's nice because when you when you're on set, you're just so focused on doing what you're doing. You have that circle of people, and inside of that circle is people that don't see it as being anything more than a job. And then I go and I hang out with my my friends from growing up in my family and stuff. And there's that circle of people, all of whom do think that it's a, it's a very strange thing. When those two circles, when you have like the Venn diagram and those two worlds collide, it can feel very awkward because you know that what you're doing is really special and 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 amazing and and you're very lucky but at the same time you don't want to act like that when you're on set because you don't want people to think that you shouldn't be there you know what I mean so it's like a, it's a strange combination but for the most part it's like wow what do we get to do for a living it's unreal I've been following your journeys on this press tour and um, one thing I hate most I love traveling but one thing I hate most is packing and Chris you've said that you've got 31 outfits that you have to pack yes how do you do that and how do you guys make that strict uh, baggage allowance that airlines have. You can't. You don't. I ended up paying six hundred dollars on my flight from New York <laughs> to Madrid for my luggage. For your excess. Yeah, because I had I had five suitcases. Wow. I was like, I really hope this movie does well because this is a <laughs> lot of money for <laughs> luggage. Like, oh my god. Yeah, crazy because there's like fifty something outfits. Yeah. That's crazy. Uh, yeah. Fan. It's it's the hardest part. It's the, the packing and the unpacking is. You can't escape it. You got to do it. No one else is doing it for you. The packing and the unpacking is the it's it's like our workout, right? Yeah. That's the real that's the real world. <laughs> that's the real work. <laughs> Fans from around the world have been camping out to meet you guys. Who did you do that for or who would you do that for? Who would I camp out to meet? Oh man, good question. Um You would do it for sports. I do it for sports fans, yeah. I'd camp outside to meet the Seattle Seahawks. Um, I'd camp out to meet like a UFC fighter. Mm -hmm. I really like that stuff. Mm -hmm. um, how about you? I would probably probably like um, anyone who's they're, like does, they're like some authors and some I was speakers say, and like yeah, TED Talk TED Talk cannons. people. Yeah, yeah, TED yeah, talkers, I'd, yeah. I'd for sure. Yeah, I'd go to extreme measures. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Are you a Tony Robbins fan? Yeah. Would you camp out to meet Tony Tony Robbins? Um, uh, would I camp out to meet Tony Robbins? No. No, no, I wouldn't. Because I know that I could just sign up for a seminar. And, yeah. That's right. Oh, yeah. Good yeah. point. Right. Well, guys, this has been really cool meeting you. Thank hey, you so much for the entertainment. Thank you, too. Thank, thank you, you.